Hi friends, today we will learn about at all learning software. This software is a learning software used for, for example, coverage prediction, quality prediction, sign up prediction, throughput prediction, or new sites planning, optimization of the network, PCI planning, NLT network, frequency planning, ARFCN planning in 2G network, ARFCN planning in LT network. Many of the function we can done through this software. But for doing any of the function through at all software, we have to make a new project. Now we are going to make a new project for LT network. Then we go, go to the option here template new. We click on this a new window project templates is open. Here we can see many of the technology backhaul, CDMA 2000, GSMG, PRS, LTE, micro radio links, UMTS, many technology. We can see here in this window. We have to work on LTE network. Then we select the option LTE and click OK. A new map window is open. This is a map window. Now we have to set the UTM zone and coordinate formats of this map window. UTM zone, the whole earth is divided into different UTM zone. For example, 43N, 44N, 45N. For set up the UTM zone, we have to know the UTM zone of the area for which we have to work. For example, V lies in 45N zone. 45 and Jharkhand state in India. For setting the UTM zone and coordinate formats, we go to the option documents. Then we click on the properties. A new window is open. In this window, first we go to the projection option. Projection option and find our UTM zone. First, he, here we select the UTM zone and find our UTM zone. My zone is 45 N. Here is 45 N. WGS 84 at UTM zone 45 N. Then click OK. After that, we tune the display option. We go to the display option and select the latitude longitude format WGS 84. After that, degree format. We can Select the degree format as per our requirement. Degree minute per second, degree minute second, or they are only degree. Here is degree minute second. Then click the OK. Now map window, UTM zone, and coordinate format is tuned as per our requirement. After that, we require the terrain data or digital data or Clutter data. For this, we go to the option file. Now we import the clutter data. Clutter data means height data. Height data provides MSL of the surface, and clutter data also provides the clutter heights, just like tree or building heights, anything of clutter types high dense vegetation or low dense vegetation, river, urban area, village area, industrial area, airport area. This is called clutter type, clutter classes or clutter type. Now we are going to import the clutter data. We first we go to the option file, then import. Here is the clutter data. In clutter data, first, first we import the height option. This gives MSL information. Click select the index option. Open. If we select the height file, then in this window, we select the altitudes because height provides the MSL data. Then click OK. Now, Height import is completed. After that, we again go to the file option, then import. 
and now this is glitter data select the option open now we select the clutter heights you see this provide the information of clutter heights then okay import of clutter heights is also completed then again we go to the file option then import then again select same file then open now we select the clutter classes this provide the information about clutter just like village urban area industrial area forest now terrain data or clutter data import is completed now we maximize the window and save the project now our project is ready for lt network planning and optimization but for optimization or coverage prediction throughput prediction we also required the site data cell data and transmitter data in lt network but in 2g we required only site data and transmitter data for importing the site data of existing network we go to the option view then network explorer this window is open here we can we can see the option site data click on right click on the site data and open table the table is open our site data will be in this format we prepare the site data of the existing network in this format and save in text format just like go to the transmitter data transmitter right click on this and open table transmitter data should be in this format in text format then again go to the transmitter right click go to the cell and open table in lt network we required site data transmitter data and cell data cell data format is in this format now we start the import first we import the site data we select the site data go to the option here option import is now here is site data name longitude latitude altitude support height then import site data import is completed now we import the transmitter data select the transmitter data transmitter data import is also completed then we go to go to the cell data go to the import option import now save the project now our project is completed 